general oral questions. This video contains all the questions and answers for when the DME is getting ready to test you. You do not need to remember the answers. As long as you understand them more in depth, you'll be able to answer the question in your own words as the DME would expect. Now, I will begin by reading the question, then I'll give you a couple seconds to answer. If it's a long question, then I'll give you enough time so that you can answer. After that, I will continue. There is 15 chapters in, the, in general, so I will begin. Chapter one, mathematics. Describe the result of adding a large positive number and a smaller negative number. The result is a smaller positive number and is the same as ignoring the signs and subtracting the smaller number from the larger. How do you convert a fraction into a decimal? Divide the top numerator by the bottom denominator. What is the key step that must be performed in order to add or subtract unlike fractions? You must find the lowest least common denominator. How do you divide one fraction by another? You invert the divisor, multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. How can you convert a decimal into a percent? One, you multiply the decimal by 100 and add the percent sign. Two, you move the decimal Point two places to the right and add the percent sign. How do you convert a fraction into a percent? Convert it into a decimal. Move the decimal point two places to the right and add the percent sign. How do you change a, per a decimal into the nearest equivalent fraction? You multiply the decimal by the desired denominator, the result becomes the numerator in the fraction. What are the two types of ways that a ratio can be expressed? One, as a fraction. Two, by placing a colon between the two numbers. Or three, by using the word two between the numbers. What is a proportion? A statement of equality between two or more ratios. What is meant by the root of number? The root is two or more equal smaller numbers that when multiplied together equal the specified number. How do you find the square of a number? Give an example. You multiply the number by itself. Example, four times four equals 16, seven times seven, 49. What is a common method of making computations involving very large or very small numbers more manageable? Convert the numbers into scientific notations by using power to 10. How is 100,000 expressed as a power of 10? 10 to the fifth power. What formula is used to find the area of a rectangle and of a triangle? For a rectangle, A equals L times W. For a triangle, A equals half B times H. Define pi. Pi is a constant that expresses the relationship between the circumference of a circle and its diameter and is approximately equal to 3.1416. Describe a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a closed four-sided figure having two parallel sides and two sides that are not parallel. What is the formula for computing the area of a circle? A equals pi r squared. Chapter two, physics. Define matter. 
any substance that occupies a space and has mass. Matter may exist in what three states? Solids, liquids, and gases. Define kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Work is the product of what th two factors? Force and distance moved. What are the parts of a lever? A rigid bar and a pivot point called the fulcrum. A wheelbarrow is an example of what class of lever? A second class lever. Are all three states of matter affected by thermal expansion? And if so, what state is affected most? All three states are affected with gases being affected the most. What is a British thermal unit? The amount of heat required to change the temperature of one pound of water, one degree Fahrenheit. Name three methods of heat transfer. Conduction, convection, radiation. What term defines the temperature at which all molecular motion ceases? Absolute zero. Can liquids be compressed? No, liquids are considered incompressible. What are the customary units used to express hydraulic or pneumatic pressure in the United States? Pounds per square inch. Describe how pressure is transmitted when a force is applied to a confined liquid. Pressure is transmitted equally in all directions. What formula expresses the relationship between force, pressure, and area? Force equals area times pressure. What is the approximate speed of sound at sea level on a standard day? Six hundred and sixty one knots or three hundred and forty meters per second. What is the atmospheric pressure at sea level on a standard day? Twenty nine point ninety two inches of mercury or ten thirteen point two millibars. On a standard day at sea level, what is the value for temperature? 59 degrees Fahrenheit. 15 degrees Celsius. What are the factors that determine density altitude? Temperature and atmospheric pressure. What is the term used to describe the ratio between the amount of moisture actually present in the atmosphere as compared to the amount the air could hold if it were completely saturated? Relative humidity. What are the four principal forces acting on an airplane in flight? Lift, drag, thrust, and gravity. What is the term that describes the angle between the relative wind and the cord line of an airfoil? The angle of attack. What are the factors that cause an airplane wing to stall? Stall is caused when the angle of attack exceeds a critical value and the airflow separates from the upper surface and becomes turbulent. What are the principal effects that result from lowering the flaps while in flight? Lift increases, drag increases, and stall speed decreases. What is the function of a wing mounted vortex generator? Vortex generators delay or keep the airflow from separating from the upper surface of a wing during high speed flight. How does blade flapping help to compensate for a dissymmetry of lift in a helicopter main rotor systems? Blade flapping 
or flapping increases the angle of attack and lift on the retreating blade and decreases the angle of attack and lift on the advancing blade. How does the airflow through the main rotor of a helicopter change during the transition from normal flight to auto rotation? During normal flight, the air moves downwards, and during auto rotation, the air moves upwards. What is friction? The opposition to relative motion between two objects in contact with each other. Chapter 3 Basic Electricity. One kilowatt is equal to how many watts? thousand watts. What law describes the most fundamental or basic relationship in an electrical circuit? Ohm's law. What are the three elements of Ohm's law? Voltage, current, and resistance. How would you write Ohm's law as an equation? E equals I times R or R equals E divided by R or I equals E divided by R. If the resistance in a DC circuit remains the same but the voltage doubles, what happens to the amount of a current flowing in the circuit? It also doubles. In a DC circuit, what unit measures power? Watts. What three elements are required to form an electrical circuit? A source of electrical energy, a load or resistance to use the electricity, or wires, or conductors to connect the source to the load. DC circuits can take one of three forms or types. What are they? Series parallel, series parallel and complex, which is series parallel. A 24 volt lead acid battery has how many cells? 12. A fully charged lead acid battery has a specific gravity that varies between what two values? 1.275 and 1.300. You must apply a correction to the specified gravity reading of the electrolyte of lead acid battery when the temperature is outside of what two values? Whenever the temperature is less than 70 degrees Fahrenheit or more than 90 degrees Fahrenheit. What are the reasons for having separate facilities for storing and surfacing nickel cadmium and lead acid batteries? The electrolytes in the two types of batteries is chemically opposite and the fumes from one type can contaminate the electrolytes of the other type. The state of charge of a nickel cadmium battery cannot be determined by measuring the specific gravity of the electrolyte for what reason? There is no specific change in the specific gravity of the electrolyte as the battery is, ch is charged or discharged. What is the principal advantage of AC over DC?
Power can be transmitted over long distances more efficiently with smaller wires because the voltage can increase or decrease easily by a transformer. What are the three causes of opposition to current flow in an AC circuit? Resistance, inductive reactance, capacitive reactance. Define inductance. An induced voltage which is opposite in direction to the applied voltage. What component creates capacitance in an AC circuit? Capacitor. How does a capacitor store electricity? The energy is stored in the form of an electrostatic charge or a field that exists between two conductors separated by an insulator. What property of an AC circuit is defined by the term impedance? The total of opposition to current flow. What are the two reasons that might cause a nickel cadmium battery to fail to deliver its rated capacity? faulty cells or cell imbalance. What electrical values are measured by a typical multimeter? Voltage, current, and resistance. There is no chapter four on electrical generators and motors. Chapter five, aircraft drawings. How many views are required to represent the important details of most aircraft parts? One, two, or three views are usually enough. What, what kind of parts can be represented by one view drawings? Parts with uniform thickness, such as shims, plates, and gaskets. What is the name for a part of a drawing used to bring out important details and how is it drawn? A detailed view which is usually drawn to a larger scale than the main drawing. What is the purpose for a schematic diagram? They are primarily used for troubleshooting systems. Describe an orthographic projection. It is a way of drawing an object using different views at right angles to each other, such as top, front, and side view. How do you how do manufacturers use, why do manufacturers use symbols on aircraft drawings? Symbols are a form of shorthand and are used to convey the characteristics of a component with a minimum of drawing. Describe the appearance of lines used to show hidden views alternate positions and the middle of symmetrical objects and give their proper name. Hidden views are shown with hidden lines which are short, evenly spaced dashes. Alternate positions are shown with phantom lines made up of light, alternate, alternating long dashes and two short dashes. Center lines consisting of alternating long and short dashes shown the middle of a symmetrical object. How can you determine if a drawing has been changed?
A record of the changes is listed either in a revision block or in a roll column, which may be in a corner of the drawing or next to the center or next to the title block. How are dimensions shown on an aircraft drawing and what is their purpose? Dimension lines are usually solid and generally broken at the midpoint for insertion of the measurement. They provide a means to accurately represent the size of an object. What is the difference between an allowance and a tolerance? An allowance is the difference between the nominal dimension and the maximum minimum permissible size. Tolerance is the difference between the extreme permissible dimensions, which may be found by adding the plus or minus allowance. What is meant by clearance when used on aircraft drawings? An allowable dimension between two parts. What kind of information about an aircraft drawing can be found in the title block? The part or assembly name, drawing size, scale, date, company name, name or initial of the people responsible for creating or approving the drawing. What information is contained in a bill of materials? A list of materials and parts needed to fabricate or assemble the component or system shown in the drawing. Chapter 6 Weight and Balance If an aircraft is loaded so that the aft CG limit is exceeded, what undesirable flight characteristics is likely to result? The aircraft will be tail heavy and may be unable to recover from a stall or a spin. If all the records of an aircraft are missing, how would you determine the empty weight and empty weight CG? The aircraft would have to be weighted and a new weight and balance records would have to be prepared. Define tear weight and describe how it is handled when weighing an aircraft. Tear weight is the weight of anything on the scale that is not part of the aircraft. It must be subtracted from the scale weight reading to determine the net weight of the airplane. If a piece of equipment such as a radio is added to an aircraft, how can you determine the effect of weight and balance without reweighing the aircraft? If the weight and balance records are up to date, a new weight and CG location can be determined by computations. What is control of the weight and balance of an aircraft important? Why? To provide maximum safety. What is the datum of an aircraft and what is its function? Datum is an imaginary vertical plane at right angles to the longitudinal axis of the airplane. It is the reference point from which all horizontal measurements are taken. How do you determine the moment of an item of equipment?
The weight of the item is multiplied by the arm, which is the distance between the item and the datum. What are the two ways of determining the arm of an item of equipment? Measure the distance between the item and the datum, or use data supplied by the manufacturer. What should be done to obtain a positive plus moment aft of the datum? Add weight. What should be done to obtain a negative minus moment aft of the datum? Remove weight. What should be done to obtain a positive plus forward of the datum? Remove weight. What should be done to obtain a negative minus moment forward of the datum? Add weight. How does the category of an aircraft affect its loaded weight? An aircraft certificated in more than one category, such as a normal or aerobatic, may have two different maximum gross weights and different useful loads. As you prepare an aircraft for weighing, you determine that the equipment is on board that is not permanently installed and recorded on the equipment list. What should you do with this equipment? All equipment not permanently installed in the aircraft or included on the equipment list should be removed from the aircraft. Define the term residual fuel. Any fuel that remains in the tanks, lines, and engines after the system has been drained. Define term residual oil. Any oil that remains in the tanks, lines, and engines after the system has been drained. How should you account for fuel when weighing an aircraft to determine weight and balance? Either drain the fuel system until only unusable fuel remains, or fill the tanks full and subtract out the weight of the, us of the usable fuel. Where are leveling instructions found and describe one method for leveling an aircraft? Leveling instructions are found in the type certificate data sheet. An aircraft may be leveled by using a spirit level at specified points, or an aircraft may be leveled by using a blunt ball from a designated point along with a leveling scale or protractor. Define the term mean aerodynamic cord or MAC. Mean aerodynamic cord is the cord drawn through the center of the wing plan area. Describe the two most common ways of showing the CG location and or CG range. In inches from the datum or in percent of MAC. What is the purpose of an aircraft loading graph? It is a method for determining how to distribute the load so as to keep the CG within allowable limits. What is a ballast and why would you use it in an airplane? A ballast is a weight added to an airplane to bring its CG into the allowable or desirable range. Installation of several new radios in the nose of an aircraft causes the forward CG 
limit to be exceeded. How can you correct this problem without removing new equipment? A ballast may be added, installed in the tail to move the CG aft. How does the CG range of a helicopter compare that of a fixed wing airplane? Helicopters typically have a much smaller CG range. Chapter 7 Aircraft Structural Materials How do you work hard in a piece of metal? By cold working the metal. Describe the primary difference between a thermal setting and a thermal plastics resin. A thermal setting resin does not soften when heated or char or burn rather than melting. The thermal plastic resins become soft and pliable when heated and harden when cooled. Explain how thermal plastic and thermal setting resin are commonly used in modern aircrafts. Plexiglass is a thermal plastic resin commonly used for windshields, windows, thermal setting resin are most often used as the matrix material in composite structures. Name one of the types of resins commonly used as a matrix material for aircraft composite laminates. Polyester resin and epoxy resin. What are some of the materials that are commonly used as the reinforcing component in a composite structure? Fiberglass, aramid, kevlar, graphite, carbon, fiber, linen, and paper. What are the reasons that alloy steel that is responsive to heat treatment is usually less suitable for welding. It may become brittle and loses ductility in the area of the weld. Give one advantage of pre-preg, pre-impregnated materials other than saving time in the construction or repair of composite components. One, pre-preg fabrics contain the correct amount of matrix. Two, the matrix material evenly and completely permeate the reinforcing fibers. Three, the matrix has the resin and the hardener in correct proportion. Chapter eight, aircraft hardware. What is indicated by the markings of the heads of solid shank rivets? The materials they are made out of and indirectly their strength. How can you keep heat treated aluminum alloy rivets soft enough to install after the quenching process? If the rivets are stored in a freezer, they will remain soft for several days. What is the grip length of a bolt? The length of an unthreaded portion. In what way are AN standard steel bolts identified by the code markings on the bolt heads? What is the difference between a close tolerance bolt and a general purpose bolt? Close tolerance bolts are machined to more accurate dimensions. For what types of applications are self-locking nuts not allowed. Self-locking nuts may not be allowed when either the bolt or the nut is subject to rotation. 
If the maintenance procedures do not specify a torque value for a bolt or nut, how can you determine the proper values? Consult a standard torque table such as found in AC 43.13-1B. What is the most common used type of aircraft control cable? Extra flexible 7x19 stainless steel cable. Chapter 9, hand tools and measuring devices. What type of precision measuring instrument can be used to measure the outside dimensions of aircraft parts? Outside micrometers and veneer calipers. For what reason should a micrometer be periodically calibrated? If dropped, accuracy may be affected or if the spindle is over tightened, the frame may be sprung, or continuously sliding objects between the anvil and the spindle may wear the surfaces. Chapter 10, Fluid Lines and Fittings. What are the two types of fluid lines commonly found in aircraft? Rigid metal lines and flexible hoses. Describe the method of classifying metal tubes according to size. Metal tubing is sized according to wall thickness and outside diameter. Outside diameter is measured in 116 inch increments. When installing stainless steel tubing, what type of fitting should be used? Stainless steel fittings. What is the function of the sleeve on a flared tube fitting? The nut fits over the sleeve and drives the sleeve and the tubing flare tightly against the male fitting to form the seal. Describe the two types of flares commonly used on aircraft tubing. Single flare and double flare. How can you determine if a fitting is an AN type rather than AC type? AN fittings have a shoulder between the flare cone and the end of the threads. AC fittings do not. What are the most significant differences between AN and AC fittings? Sleeve length, thread pitch, and the shoulder between the threads and the flare cone on an AN fitting. What are the names of the parts of a flareless tube fitting? The nut and the ferrule or sleeve. How do you tell a flareless fitting from a flare type fitting? Flareless fittings do not have a flare cone and there is no space between the threads and the end of the fitting. What is the effect of over tightening a flare type fitting? The sealing surface may be damaged or the flare cut off. In addition to being securely clamped, what is an additional requirement for installing metal fuel, oil, and hydraulic lines. The lines must be electrically bonded to the structure. What are some of the important advantages of Teflon tubing? It is compatible with nearly every liquid, has a broad operating temperature range, low resistance to fluid flow, and has a very long shelf and service life. Describe the identification markings commonly found on flexible hoses. A ley line identification such as a mill spec number, the manufacturer's name or symbol, the hose size, and a date code. 
How can you determine if a flexible hose has been correctly or incorrectly installed? The ley line will be straight if the hose is properly installed. A twisted ley line indicates an incorrect installation. How are flexible hose sizes designated? By the inside diameter measured in 1 16 inch increments. What precautions must be observed when deburring the end of a tube after it is cut? The wall thickness must not be reduced in size or fractured. Describe the operation of a quick disconnect couplings. Each half has a valve that is held open when coupled and is spring loaded closed when disconnected. If you fabricate a replacement for a flexible hose, what percentage of the total length must be added to an, to allow for movement under pressure? 5 to 8 percent. What happens to the tube when a flareless fitting is over tightened? The tube is weakened when the nut drives the cutting edge of the sleeve too deeply into the tube. Why are quick disconnect fittings used? To provide a quick means to connect or disconnect a fluid line without loss of fluid or entrance of air into the system. Chapter 11 Non-destructive testing. Describe the steps involved in a dye penetrant inspection. The surface is cleaned and then penetrant is applied and allowed to dwell for a specific time. The penetrant is then removed with an emulsion or a cleaner. Once removed, the part is dried and the developer is applied. The results are then inspected and interpreted. Name some tools that are commonly used to assist in making visual inspections of welds. Magnifying glass, flashlight, mirror, and possibly a boroscope. What are some of the non-destructive testing methods that may be used on aluminum parts? Visual, dipenetrant, eddy current, ultrasonic testing, and radiography. What process occurs during the preparation stage of a dye penetrant inspection when the penetrating liquid is applied and then removed from a cracked part. The penetrant enters a crack by a capillary action and remains there until made visible by the developer. A correctly made butt weld will have what bead width and how much penetration. The bead width should be 3 to 5 times the thickness of the base metal and there must be 100% penetration. What telltale characteristics are evidence of a cold weld? A cold weld has rough irregular edges that are not feathered into the base metal and have variations in penetration amount. The penetration of a fillet weld should be what percentage of the thickness of the base metal? 25 to 50%. Describe the basic steps for conducting a magnetic particle inspection.
Magnetize the part, then coat the surface with ferromagnetic particles. If a defect or discontinuity is present, the particle aligned with the discontinuity, forming a visible pattern. Chapter 12 Cleaning and Corrosion Is there any requirement for cleaning an aircraft prior to an annual or 100 hour inspection? It is not only good common sense, but it is legal requirement as specified in FAR Part 43 Appendix D. Describe the general precautions that should be observed when washing an airplane. Avoid or protect areas which may be damaged or contaminated, such as pedal and static ports, hinges, sealed areas, and bearings. What are some of the more light duty cleaning agents? Soap and detergent and water. What materials are commonly used as heavy duty cleaners? Solvents and emulsions. What are the preferred cleaners for plastic surfaces such as windshields? mild soap and water or a manufactured approved cleaner what type of cleaning agent should be used to remove grease oil and fuel from aircraft tires soap and water give at least three examples of the factors that cause or influence corrosion one the environmental conditions, two, the presence of dissimilar metals, three, the type of metal, four, the presence of electrolytes and contaminants, five, the condition of protective coatings. Name at least three forms of corrosion. One, surface, two, intergranular, three, filiform, four, dissimilar metals or galvanic, five, oxidation, six, pitting, seven, stress, eight, fritting. Name at least one cause of filiform corrosion. One, Improper or incomplete curing of the wash primer prior to painting. Two, failure to completely wash off acidic surface contaminations. What are the visible signs of filiform corrosion? Blisters, paint surfaces or worm or thread-like tracks or patterns under the paint. What are the two primary factors that may cause development of stress corrosion cracks? A corrosive environment and sustained tensile stress. What are the visible signs of fritting corrosion? The corrosion residue has a dark smoky appearance and often appears around and streaming back from rivet heads why are piano type hinges prime spots for corrosion the steel pin and the aluminum hinge materials are dissimilar metals and hinge design tends to trap moisture and contaminants. What is the best way to protect piano hinges from corrosion? Keep them clean and properly lubricated. Provide at least four examples of procedures used to prevent corrosion. One, cleaning. Two, lubricating. Three, 
treatment, four, sealing, five, inspection, six, installing protective covers, seven, keeping drain holes free and clear. Describe the tools that should be used to remove corrosion from anodized aluminum surfaces. Nylon scrubber pads such as scotch bright bristle brushes, aluminum wool, or aluminum wire brushes. Describe the effects of using steel brushes or steel wool to remove corrosion from aluminum surfaces. The steel brushes or steel wools must not be used to clean aluminum because steel particles can become embedded in the aluminum and ca cause corrosion. What is the purpose of alodyne? Alodyne is a, is a chemical process that deposits a protective film on aluminum alloys. This film proves corrosion resistance and paint adhesion. For what reason should you avoid cleaning alodyne aluminum surfaces with, a, with aluminum metal polish? Aluminum metal polish should not be used on anodized aluminum surfaces because it will remove the anodized. Why should aircraft fabrics and plastics be cleaned only with recommended cleaners? Recommended cleaners cause the least amount of deterioration or damage. List at least Five examples of areas in aircrafts that are prone to corrosion. One, battery compartment. Two, exhaust trail areas. Three, bilge areas. Four, vent areas. Five, landing gear and wheel wells. Six, fuel tank 7, wing flap recesses 8, around and below galleys and laboratories 9, piano hinges 10, any area that can trap water. Chapter 13, Ground Handling and Servicing. Name at least three possible hazards that may be encountered during typical ground operations, such as during engine run-up or taxiing. The possibility of fire, especially during engine start, turning prop, rotor, prop or jet blast in or inlet areas, or aircraft vehicles, people and obstacles, foreign objects such as rocks, gravels, rags or loose hardware, high noise levels that may cause hearing damage, hydraulic lock and radial engines, weather vaning of tail wheel aircraft. What is the most general used knot for tying down in small aircrafts? The bowline, although other anti-slip knots may be used. Describe the precautions that should be taken to protect life and property while starting and running an aircraft engine. Study the procedures in the Airplane Flight Manual.
be sure that the propeller or the or inlet area is clear and check for loose stones gravel etc that can be stuck into the prop or engine also ensure that the prop or jet blast does not blow into the hangar or other airplanes and have a fire guard nearby if an engine induction fire occurs while starting a reciprocating engine what procedure should be followed to extinguish the fire Continue cranking the engine to start it and suck the fire into the engine. If the engine does not start and the fire continues to burn, discon discontinue the start attempt and extinguish the fire with a suitable fire extinguisher. What safety precautions must be observed when hand propping a small aircraft engine? Become thoroughly trained, have a qualified person in the cockpit, check the brakes, call, switch off before moving the prop and make sure you have a solid footing. When ready to start, call contact and listen for the reply. Swing the prop with the flat of your hands and move back from the prop arc. What procedures should be followed prior to starting a large radial engine to detect or and prevent a hydraulic lock in the cylinders. Pull the propeller through by hand for three or four complete revolutions. Resistance to the prop turning indicates a possible hydraulic lock in at least one of the cylinders. What is the cause for hydraulic lock in a radial engine? Oil seeps by the piston rings and accumulates in the combustion chamber of a lower cylinder. When a piston comes up on its compression stroke, the, the incompressible liquid seizes it. What is meant by the term hot start when starting a jet engine? Ignition occurs with an excessively rich mixture leading to a rapid temperature rise that can exceed the exhaust gas temperature limit. When towing an aircraft, should you use the tow vehicle or aircraft brakes to stop the aircraft? The tow vehicle brakes should be used except in an emergency. Then the aircraft brakes may be used. Why should an aircraft technician become familiar with standard light signals? Light signals may be used when taxiing an airplane without a radio or when a radio becomes inoperative on a tower control airport. If a mixture of, avi of aviation gasoline and jet fuel is used in a reciprocating aircraft engine, what are the possible results? Av gas contaminated by jet fuel must not be used in piston engines. The engine may be damaged or destroyed. What does the number 100 signify in 100 LL aviation gasoline? It refers to the lean mixture, performance number, or octane rating of the fuel. Is it permissible to use Afgas in turbine engines
Limited operation may be allowed by the manufacturer. Continued use may reduce efficiency due to the lead deposits on the turbine blades. What are some of the possible outcomes of using a lower grade of AF gas than the specified grade? An increased chance of engine damage due to detonation, loss of engine power, and an increased possibility of overheating. Part 23.973 of the FAA regulation specifies that certain markings must be placed adjacent to the fuel filler opening. What markings are used for reciprocating engine powered airplanes? The filler opening must be marked with the fuel grade and word avgas. Describe the important precautions that should be observed when fueling an aircraft. Be certain you are using the correct fuel, properly ground the aircraft and the refueling unit, and protect the aircraft surfaces from hose and nozzle damage. The marking requirements for oil type filler openings are specified by FAR 23.1157. What markings are required for a piston engine powered airplane? The word oil and the permissible grades and or types or or a reference to the appropriate airplane flight manuals for permissible grades and or types. Where can the standard aircraft taxi hand signals be found? In the aeronautic informational manual, under what conditions should a reciprocating engine be pre-oiled? Prior to starting a new engine or one that has been preserved for storage, the engine should adequate lubricated on ignition startup. Under what conditions may automotive gasoline be used in aircraft engines? Only if approved by the FAA usually by the assurance of a supplemental type certificate STC what are the indications of water in aircraft fuel after draining a sample from the fuel sump the sample may have a cloudy or hazy appearance or a solid slug of water chapter 14 maintenance publications, forms, and records. What federal aviation regulation prescribes the requirements for assurance of a type certificate? FAR 14 CFR part, part 21. What part of the FAR describes the airworthiness standards for transport category airplanes? FAR part 25. What Part of the FAR describes the performance characteristics that our small aircraft must demonstrate in order to be airworthy. FAR Part 23 Who is responsible for ensuring that only the most current information is used when performing maintenance on an aircraft? The person performing the maintenance. Why are airworthiness directives issued? To correct unsafe conditions found in aircraft, engine, propellers, and appliances. How does the FAA notify aircraft owners of unsafe conditions that must be corrected? By issuing them airworthiness directives. How do you determine the time frame within which AD compliance is required.
The AD contains the compliance time or period for completing the corrective action. If a mechanic wishes to develop a checklist for an annual 100-hour inspection, what publications contains the guidelines for the corrective information inspection items? FAR Part 43 Appendix D contains the scoop and detail of an inspection checklist. How can you determine if the repair of a damage is a major or minor repair? FAR Part 43 Appendix A defines major or minor repairs as well as preventive maintenance. What publications must you consult for guidance when maintaining an old aircraft for which no maintenance manual exists? AC 43.13-1B or its latest revision. What are advisory circulars? Non-regulatory information of interest to the aviation public. What publications should you consult to determine an aircraft or engine or propeller types, design, and limitations? Type certificate data sheets and or aircraft specifications. In what FAA publications could you find a list of engines approved for use in a specific make and model of airplane? In type certificate data sheets and or aircraft specifications. What reference materials can be used to determine if an aircraft is certi certificated in more than one category? Type certificate data sheets and or aircraft specifications. What is the name of the manual that the manufacturer provides to the technician who normally performs work on the systems and components of the aircraft? The aircraft maintenance manual. Under what circumstances is compliance with a manufacturer service bulletin mandatory when the service bulletin is incorporated into an AD or other approved data what kinds of publications are used by aircraft manufacturers to notify owners of design defects and product improvement Service bulletins, service letters, and service instructions. If you need to determine the serviceable dimension limits for an engine part, what publications would you consult? The current engine manufacturer's overhaul manual. How often is the summary of ADs published? Every two years. As a certificated mechanic, will you automatically receive all ADs? No, ADs are automatically sent only to registered aircraft owners. How are AD updates issued to subscribers to the Summary of Airworthiness Directives? Through bi-weekly supplements. Where do you find the minimum scoop and detail requirements that a 100-hour inspection checklist must contain? FAR Part 43 Appendix D Records of a major alteration must be made in what two places? The Aircraft Maintenance Records and FAA Form 337. When completion of an FAA Form 337 is required,
how many copies are normally prepared and what is their distribution? Two signed copies. One is given to the aircraft owner and one is sent to the local FAA flights standard district office within 48 hours of the approved or return to service. When an aircraft is sold, what do the regulations require regarding the disposition of the records that contain the current status of airworthiness directives? The seller must transfer the records to the buyer at the time of sale. For what period of time must an aircraft owner maintain the records of a 100 hour inspection? Until the work is superseded or for one year after the inspection. In what publications may a mechanic find an example of a maintenance record entry for a 100 hour inspection? FAR Part 43.11 Where should a 100 hour inspection be recorded? In the appropriate maintenance record for the airframe, power plant, propeller, or appliance, what items must be entered into the aircraft record after maintenance is performed? One, a description of the work performed and or reference to acceptable data. Two, the date the work was completed. Three, the signature, certificated number, and the type of certificate of the person approving the aircraft for return to service. What person makes the final maintenance record entry after a 100 hour inspection is completed? The person approving the aircraft for return of service. What documents must be prepared when a required inspection is performed and defects are found which render the aircraft or engine unairworthy? The required maintenance entries must be made and a list of discrepancies and unairworthy items must be furnished to the owner. What maintenance record entry are required to contain the aircraft's total time in service? Only records of inspection required the total time. What regulations authorizes a certificated mechanic who holds an inspection authorization to approve or disapprove a major repair or major alteration. FAR 65.95 Who has the authority to rebuild an aircraft engine and return the operating time to zero? Only the engine manufacturer or an overhaul facility approved by the manufacturer. Are there any circumstances when more than two copies of Form 337 are required and if so, when? Yes, three copies are required when a fuel tank is installed in the passenger or baggage compartment, the third copy must be kept aboard the aircraft. How do the regulations define time and service in regards to maintenance record entries?
With respect to the maintenance entries, time in service begins when the aircraft leaves the surface of the earth until it touches it at the next point of landing. What are the penalties for making fraudulent or intentional false entry in any required record or report? The applicable airman certificate can be suspended or revoked. What persons are authorized to make the required maintenance entry approving the return to, to service after a progressive inspection is performed at a location other than the aircraft's home base? An applicable certificated mechanic and appropriately rated repair station, the aircraft manufacturer. What is the difference between the term overhaul and rebuild as they pertain to the aircraft's engine maintenance records? Overhauled engines must be tested to approve or acceptable current standard and technical data. Rebuild engines must be tested to the same tolerance and limitations as a new engine. When performing inspection required by FAR Part 91, what rotorcraft systems must be inspected in accordance with the manufacturer maintenance manual? or instructions for continued airworthiness. The drive shaft or similar systems, the main rotor transmission gearbox for obvious defects, the main rotor and center section, the auxiliary rotor on helicopters. How can you determine that an aircraft part or appliance you received is serviceable? By an approved for return to service in the maintenance records for the part or appliance with a complete form 337. Chapter 15 Mechanic Privileges and Limitations what publications should a mechanic consult to determine if repair is considered major or minor? 14 CFR FAR Part 43 Appendix A Where is the FARs will you find the certification requirements for a mechanic? FAR Part 65 what are the ratings issued under a mechanics certificate? Airframe and power plant. What type of work may a certificated mechanic perform? A mechanic may perform or supervise maintenance, preventive maintenance, or alterations. It is a certificated airframe mechanic allowed to perform maintenance on engines? Not unless they are supervised by a certificated power plant mechanic. What are the limitations to a mechanic's privileges with regards to propellers? A mechanic may not perform or supervise major repairs to or major alterations of propellers. Is a mechanic allowed to repair or alter an aircraft instrument? No, mechanics may not perform any repair or alterations on instruments. What are the requirements for recent experience in order to exercise a privileges of your mechanic certificate or ratings.
You must have worked as a mechanic or technically supervised other mechanics for at least six months out of the past 24 months. What authority does a mechanic have regarding approval for return to service? A mechanic may approve an aircraft, airframe, engine, propeller, or appliance for return to service in accordance with the provisions of FAR Part 65. What are the privileges of an A and P me mechanic regarding inspections? A mechanic may perform and approve for return to service an airframe and engine following a 100 hour inspection. What is the duration of a mechanic certificate? The certificate is valid until surrendered, suspended, or revoked. What are the privileges and limitations of an A and P mechanic regarding major repair or alterations to airframe and engine and their approval for return to service? An A and P mechanics may perform major repairs and major alterations but may not approve them for return of service unless they hold an inspection authorization ia in addition to performing maintenance what other privileges are granted to a power plant mechanic A power plant mechanic may perform a 100 hour inspection on an engine and approve the engine for return to service. When, when may a mechanic perform an annual inspection and return the aircraft to service? When the mechanic holds an inspection authorization IA. May a mechanic supervise an inspection or a portion of an inspection and then approve the aircraft for return to service? No, the mechanic approving the aircraft for return to service must actually perform the inspection. What is the duration of a temporary airman's certificate? 120 days. If a mechanic certificate is revoked, how long must he or she wait before applying for a new certificate? One year unless a revocation order states otherwise. What should a mechanic do if his or her temporary certificate is about to expire? Contact a local FAA office and seek assistance. Is a person with a private pilot's certificate allowed to perform maintenance? And if so, what are his or her limitations? A pilot may perform preventative maintenance in accordance with FAR Part 43.3, 43.7, and Appendix A on an airplane owned by the pilot. He or she can also approve the aircraft for return to service following that maintenance. What are your requirements as an aircraft mechanic when you have a chain of address? You must notify the FAA in writing within 30 days of any changes to your permanent address.